Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. It is Special Saturday and for this Special Saturday we're going to be reading The Wizard of Oz. Now, before we do start reading... I'm in a new location. That's right everybody, I am sitting on my bed with some lovely lights behind me that, let me say, really do set the scene for this book. Because as you can see, it's a bit blue here. So I thought, you know, it would set the scene very nicely. And also, you know, I'm on my bed. That means I'm comfortable and so should you listening to my stories. So without further ado, let's read this. The Wizard of Oz. Dorothy lived in Kansas, America, with Uncle Henry and Auntie M. Her little dog Toto also lived with them. Dorothy and Toto were in the house together when along came some very nasty weather. A big storm blew the house up high, way up into the sky. When the house came down, Dorothy looked all around. She said to Toto, I'm not sure but I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Underneath the house, two shoes were sticking out. Standing and looking at Dorothy was a crowd of little people. We're the munchkins, they said. The wicked witch was mean. Now she's dead. Will you be our queen? Dorothy shook her head and said, I can't stay. I want to go home. Can you show me the way? No, said the munchkins, but maybe our friend the good witch can. Go to the Emerald City and find the Wizard of Oz, said the good witch. Wear these magical silver shoes. The wizard will help you. Follow the yellow brick road. But you need to be quick. There's no time to lose. Follow the road made of yellow bricks. You'll be there in two tricks. Dorothy and Toto set off down the yellow brick road. Soon they met a scarecrow. My head's full of straw, he complained. What I really want is a brain. We're going to see the Wizard of Oz, said Dorothy. Maybe he can give you a brain. Come with us. Dorothy, Toto and the scarecrow set off. Soon they met a tin man. Dorothy told them, you look smart. But I'm unhappy, he said, because I have no heart. Come with us. We are going to see the Wizard of Oz, said Dorothy. Maybe he can give you a heart. Further along the road, they met a frightened lion. Everything I see and hear makes me shake and shiver with fear, said the lion. I need some courage. Maybe the Wizard of Oz can give you some courage, said Dorothy. Come with us. The friends walked and talked until they came to the Emerald City. What a wonderful sight. It looked very pretty. It was the strangest place they had ever seen. Everything was sparkling and bright green. Have you ever seen so much green? A guard took Dorothy and her friends to see the wizard. The wizard sat in a great big chair and asked them all why they were there. I want a brain, said the scarecrow. I want a heart, said the tin man. I want some courage, said the lion. And I just want to go home, said Dorothy. I will help you. The wizard put new stuffing inside the scarecrow's head. You will now feel better now you have a brain, he said. Thank you. And he put a red heart in the tin man's chest. It's a kind heart, he said. This is the very best. Thank you. Then he gave the lion a special magic drink. This will give you some courage, I think. Thank you. Dorothy stood there quietly, feeling all alone. Please, she said to the wizard, will you help me get home? The wizard replied, just do as I say and the magic shoes will take you away. Click your heels three times and say where you want to go. Dorothy did as he said. Take me home. With a whoosh and a whirl through the air, she swirled. And all 
At once, Dorothy and Toto were back in Kansas. Auntie Em hugged her tight and said, Where have you been? To the land of Oz, said Dorothy. Let me tell you what we've seen. I've been far away, but home to stay. Now, why don't you go and subscribe and give this video a like and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video. Alright, bye guys. See you tomorrow.